where, as you know, hundreds of people got trapped in their cars during the blizzard. And unfortunately, many people died, including a woman from Charlotte. Jonathan Lowe from our partner station WSOC in Charlotte talked to Andell Taylor's grieving family. The blizzard that pummeled Buffalo, New York Christmas weekend also dealt a heart-wrenching blow to this closely knit Charlotte family. We're trying to get her here because I want her here with me. Wanda Brown Steele grieving her daughter Andell Taylor, who was only 22 years old. She went to Buffalo, New York to take care of her father got a job up there, went back to school. She got caught in that massive and deadly storm the day before Christmas. The details the family knows so far are hard to fathom. On her way home from work, and my daughter was talking to her up to like a little past um, midnight. It was a group text between Andell and her sisters back in Charlotte. She had just gotten stuck in blinding snow that was piling up fast. I don't think none of us really knew how serious it was. At 413 on Friday, Andell texted this video, her window seemingly completely covered by snow. She was um, telling my sister that she was scared. Then just after midnight Christmas Eve at 12.09 a.m., Andell texted another video. Inching down her window, you can see conditions had deteriorated. She called 911 and she was waiting for them. At this point, her sister Tamisha says she began to get angry. She says it seemed no one was coming to her sister's aid. I feel like everybody that tried to get to her got stuck. Fire department, police. Why didn't they have chains on their tires? This is a state that's known for snow. But this family says Andell was resilient and didn't panic. She told my daughter that she was going to go to sleep and when she get up, um, she was going to try to start walking. That opportunity never came after family in New York made two failed attempts to find Andell in the car. I told them that they needed to go back out there again. That's when they bust the window and seen that she was in there. As previously reported, some have theorized she died from hypothermia. Her mom thinks it was carbon monoxide poisoning. The car was running and um, the snow was still coming, so it blocked the the um, the pipes. The exhaust pipe. Yeah, the exhaust pipes. It's a tragic chain of events sandwiched between Christmas and Endell's upcoming 23rd birthday. A lot of crying. That's it. Still got presents under the tree. It's so easy to ask yourself. Why, God? Why? But it's not always meant for us to know the answer to that. 